Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Axe Player Warps plugin. So this is pretty much the ultimate player warp plugin, which allows you to have a GUI that lists all your different warps. You can customize how they look. You can customize who can go to them, the cost, and plenty of other things. Now you can do the forward slash Axe Player Warps command, or you can even shorten it to AXPW. Hit enter, that's going to bring up a GUI. And then in the middle, it's going to list all the different categories. So if there's hundreds of warps this makes it a lot easier to search for it now if I go into farm for example I've already created one it's called tree and you can see a description that I haven't added the information about where it is when it was created etc the owner the stats about it so people can actually rate warps about how good or bad they are the cost and then the access and then if we right click we can go ahead and either add or remove it to our favorites we can teleport to it and then we can rate it so let's go ahead and teleport as expected it takes us to the top of a tree and then if we go into all warps this would list a whole bunch of them down at the bottom you can sort various things go to different pages and even search for them if there are so many that you don't want to flip through all the pages. There's one called Rock I created, and you can see this one costs 10 experience. It is still public, and it hasn't been rated yet. And there we go. I have teleported to the other warp I created. So it's as simple as that to use as a player, but let's go ahead and create one of our own. Now, if we do AXPW help, this is going to show us all the commands, and all we really need to do is the create command. So we're going to call this one PVP, maybe. And then we can go ahead and do the edit command, followed by the name of the warp, so PVP, and it's going to bring up this GUI. So first of all, we could set a description by hitting left click or right click to remove a line if you make a mistake. You can flip through the categories. So let's select PVP for this one. It shows you the location, which you can also update, which is pretty nice. You can change to various statuses and you can see there's a whitelist, private and public. And then down here, you can add players to a whitelist or blacklist, depending on who you want to be able to come here. And then the price. So this is where you can hit for example, shift left click and then put a price, maybe a hundred. Now down at the bottom, this is pretty handy. If you do set a price for your warp, it will be stored in the GUI and then you'll have to withdraw it by clicking this button. So top left, there's a delete warp button. That's pretty self-explanatory. And then down at the bottom left, there's the transfer ownership. So if we go back into all warps, you can see here is the PVP one and you can see it's currently my head. Up here, you can change the name and the icon. If you want to change the icon, click something in your inventory such as the sword and then that is how it would change so if we go back into all warps now there's a few other commands such as the info command and you can choose a warp and it'll tell you a little bit about it but apart from that it's as simple as that to use in game and it's probably one of the best warp plugins that i have looked at so here we are on the SMP control panel. You can see there's a few YML files. The config's the main place you want to go into. So we've got the prefix, a database you can set up. Then we've got the various aliases for the command. And then default material, so we saw it was a player head. And then the teleport delay, which you can bypass if you have this permission. So I was OP and that's why we didn't see it. And then max lines in the description, all the categories so you can create some more or change them. If we go back, there is a currencies.yml and this is where you can use other currency plugins so vault is probably the main one but if you have any of these you can use those as well here we are on the spigot page you can see it's updated from 1.18 to 1.21 there is a handy wiki link and discord if you need any help or have suggestions for the plugin so overall it's a really easy to use plugin but it has a ton of features and i would definitely recommend it but if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time